And speaking of filling up, we need to fill up a nice uh, glass or a pint because it's Philadelphia Beer Week in full swing. We brought out our huge, enormous gavel. I think it was Chris that uh, gaveled it in and everyone getting into the act right now. So from beer tastings to beer cupcakes, that's what you got to try this is today. There really is beer cupcakes. I've never even heard of such a thing. Um, so we have some experts that are here to talk about all of this. we got Joe Breslin. That's one of my family names, so I love that one. Joe, thanks for uh, joining us. And say your name for me again. Thais. Thais. It's such a beautiful name. Thank you for joining us. And uh, you guys, did you really put beer in the cupcakes? We really did. <laughs> and why? Does that ruin a perfectly good cupcake, or does it just bring out something different to it? It actually brings out all the different flavor notes that the beer has, but also that the cupcake can... It, they can enhance each other. All right, show me what you got. What'd you bring? Um, this first one here uh -huh. um, is a double shot stout. So it's baked. Um, the cake is actually baked using this beer here. Okay, let me try the stout. Beer. Sorry. Yeah, oh, stout. Mm. Speedway Stout from yep. Ale Smith mm -hmm. out of San Diego. It is an imperial stout brewed with coffee, 12 percent alcohol by wow. volume. Okay. It is very, very rich and delicious. Yeah, so to have a sip of that one, you get 12% uh, so alcohol. The, the beer has notes of coffee, mm -hmm. um, therefore the cupcake is filled with a coffee cream. I'm a coffee fan. Oh, there's a coffee cream inside of it? Inside. I'm not going to dig all the way into it. Mmm. It's good. It's good. This is a great idea. Now, how'd you guys team up? Do you guys team up on these things, this project? Um, you work independently? Our marketing mm -hmm. uh, team leader, mm -hmm. Gia Doce, mm -hmm. is uh, a big supporter of Whole Foods mm -hmm. and we like her a lot, so uh, it was, it was <laughs> we natural. We like her a lot, yeah. too. <laughs> they're, they're delicious cupcakes, and uh, what better way to celebrate Beer Week than to uh, do something a little bit different. It is a little different. Now, how about this one's pink? What's going on here? So this, um, the cake is a vanilla bean cake. No beer in the cake. Okay. Um, it's fil filled with um, raspberries, blueberries, um, blackberries, and then it's topped. The icing actually has um, this raspberry lambic in the frosting, so you can taste it right in there. Yeah, can't wait for drinking this one. Try the little. Oh, what's a lambic? Lambic is a spontaneously mm, fermented wow. beer from <laughs> Belgium. It tastes like a raspberry. It has sparkling something. It has raspberries added mm. to a oak vat while it ferments, and the yeast actually consume the raspberry, and the flavors uh, definitely become part of the beer. So now you're saying there's berries all inside here. Right. All right, I'm just going to attack this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. <laughs> so absolutely amazing. And then tell me about the last one while I take a munch into this one and stuff my mouth. So the last one, the mm -hmm. cake is baked using this Japanese mm -hmm. white ale. Mm -hmm. um, it has notes of citrus. Mm -hmm. It's filled with a vanilla bean cream and then topped with a really tart blood orange cream. Wow. Well, these look amazing. Thank you so much for bringing them in. If we want to check them out, where can we get these? Um, we will have our cupcake truck outside of Whole Foods Market Devon tonight from 5 to 7, where you can go inside and try the beer or come try outside and grab some cupcakes. You're one of the Whole Foods that has the beer? Yes, we are. I love this Whole which Foods. Is, yes, which I, is, yes. I love this Whole yeah, Foods. Yeah, why we're here. Yes, yeah, well, that we makes perfect sense. We are participating in Beer Week. Uh, it runs through the 10th, so there are plenty of, of events left. Um, and uh, it's stop by. Yeah, the last beer, just so you know, Hitachino Nest White yep. Ale yep. from Japan. Uh, it's brewed with nutmeg, coriander, orange juice, and orange peel. So it's a very citrusy beer. Tastes like October. Thank you so much for coming in. We thank really you. appreciate it. Thank Both you. Both of you, thank you. And we will be right back with so much more in just a moment.